What this involves is patients who have tumor that is not technically resectable for cure undergo a partial resection of their tumor, and that tumor is shipped to a centralized manufacturing facility where the tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, or the TIL, are grown out of the tumor. In the lab, these cells can be propagated to tens of billions in number and then shipped back to our center where the patients get treated. This process is called adoptive cellular therapy with tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, and I presented the preliminary results of the clinical trial, which is a phase two multi-center clinical trial that's being used for the purposes of FDA registration of this novel technology. And what we found is in patients with advanced melanoma that's refractory to standard FDA-approved PD-1 antibody treatment, we've achieved a 38% response rate. And of the responses, the median duration of response has not yet been uh, achieved. And I'm thinking that this will extend out to eight months or longer. And some of these patients, in fact, may have been cured, requiring just a single cell therapy infusion. And this highly innovative technique with cellular therapy, I expect will be applied to multiple cancer histologies, not just melanoma. And we do have additional data with cervical cancer as well as other cancer histologies. So this technology can readily be applied to virtually any cancer of any histologic subtype. We tend to focus our uh, treatment to patients whose tumors that have a mutation-rich environment. And that includes melanoma, head and neck, lung cancer, cervical cancer, and sarcoma. And ongoing research is being conducted to try to apply this technique to virtually any and all cancer histology.